The first full-length trailer for the upcoming Sasha Baron Cohen, Mark Strong comedy The Brothers Grimsby, has hit the web. In the film Nobby, Sasha Baron Cohen has everything a man from Grimsby could want, including 11 children and the most gorgeous girlfriend in the northeast of England, Rebel Wilson. <laughs> There's only one thing missing his little brother, Sebastian Mark Strong, who Nobby has spent 28 years searching for after they were separated as kids. Nobby sets off to reunite with Sebastian, unaware that not only is his brother MI6's deadliest assassin, Assassin, but he's just uncovered plans for an imminent global terrorist attack. John Byers saw this new trailer for the Brothers Grimsby. I buy it a lot more than I thought I was going to, to be honest with you. Like, I thought, I've been reading the premise, I've been buying the premise of this for a long time, but it's still always been a little bit iffy with me. I like that first little teaser they put out when you saw Sasha Baron Cohen and uh, Rebel Wilson in the bed having sex, and you realize they're doing it in a department store. I mm -hmm. thought that was kind of funny, but... I really bought into it. I love the setup with the two little orphans at the beginning and where the story went. The whole thing when he finally hugs him and he shoots and kills the wrong guy. I don't know why. I really enjoyed the trailer, so for me, it's a buy. I'm going to sell it, but with the hopes that none of the funny moments were in the trailer. I'm gonna hope like a, you know I'm hoping like a lot of a lot of times I show all the great bits in the trailer and there were a couple times that I laughed in this trailer for sure but there weren't any of those moments that I was like oh man this is hysterical um, I still think it's got a lot of potential I like both these guys I think it's a really good teaming for the two of them as well both Mark Strong and Sasha Baron Cohen I think will be could be a great team up and it it's that perfect mix almost kind of it reminds me of what spy was going for as well so I think that there can be some good stuff in it I just the trailer itself just didn't make me laugh that much. Yeah, if we're reviewing trailers on Movie Talk, that's time for me to turn into a sourpuss. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sell this one, too. Oh. I just, I'm, I'm on the same page as Christian, where there's a lot of potential in this movie. I'm not selling the fact that I don't want to see the movie. I'm, I, I could be excited about this film. It just didn't make me laugh enough. I giggled a couple times in the trailer, but there was a lot of footage in there. I mean, this thing was over two minutes, and it just didn't look like there was going to be a lot of room <laughs> For that much comedy, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen and Rebel Wilson look hysterical. Mark Strong could be funny, like a Jason Statham in Spy. This could be this year's Spy, and I hope it is. It's just the trailer itself didn't engage me as much as I wanted. I love when comedies don't give away too many of the laughs in the trailer, but you got to give me a little more than you did. All right, what's next? Wouldn't you guys like to see Sasha Baron Cohen try a different type of comedy? Like one where he is legitimately looking like himself, because I think he has so much potential. He's hilarious. Without but being I'm a character? So, yeah. yeah. I, I wanted to see him do see Freddie him. Mercury. Yeah. I wanted to see him do Freddie Mercury. Oh, I was really wanting. But I, but I like what Ashley's saying, too. Like, to see him do comedy, because he's so great in comedy, but playing a guy. Yeah. Not, not playing the dictator, not playing... Lame is. Yeah, yeah. Like, like not playing a caricature of something like he is here. I'd be fascinated to see him do a... Him and Steve Carell. See, him and Steve, totally. Steve Carell like do a straight-up comedy. I would yeah, love to love see that. that. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up-to-date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.